What's up guys, Lugia vs Lost in Box has been a staple of this format since the very beginning. So in this video is a pretty cool game I got against Lugia with Lost in Box with the new tools. We use the Riker and the Sealstone, which are pretty cool and they're pretty interesting in their application against Lugia actually. So um, yeah, if you enjoy the video, drop a sub, really appreciate it. But yeah, um, enjoy the video guys. Use double rope, but if lone pick is cooked, yeah. And double rope, probably not enough. Need Dragon Eye or something. Also, quick aside, if you want the list, go to my Twitch channel, type exclamation mark list. Um, you'll get a pay spin to my most updated list. Also, follow me while you're there. I stream every day. Um, but yeah, back to the video. The thing is, with Dragon Eye Belt, you could punch through it. Uh, it was hard, but you could. But with the Shred and the Belts, but now you can't really. You just gotta hope. Okay, this is not the hand to turn one Raikou. Yeah, yay, we, we hit Lugia, that's actually goaded. Ooh, DT pass. Okay. Well, if we could hit turn one Lugia, that'd be great, but... Okay, there's Gren. Probably one energy, one net. That seems good here. I'm down. They need to loss zone two energies. You might just be supposed to loss zone both energies here, but we do have a lot of switch cards, so... Okay, there's Zama. We can bench the Zama. If they boss the Zama, we just rot and bring it back out, so I don't really care about that. Um, but we need to make a decision, so we'll probably just quick ball on energy for the comfy. Then we can switch card into it and see what happens from there. We can go like retreat out of it, out of it maybe, or something like that. This is nothing. We just have to probably keep her into Krem. Seems fine. Oh, wait. We call wrist. Okay. Well, I could net retreat and then net again to go into the cram. That seems kind of meh. Could just go net the Gren and hope that we hit a comfy because that's literally equally as efficient as using net net and retreat. Because I have the claw in hand as well. Okay, that sounds fine. If we hit comfy off the Gren, then it's just objectively equally as efficient to do this than to net the uh, the comfy. Okay, well, that didn't work. Uh. Well, I mean, I could have had guaranteed attack here, but the attack is so meh. Nah, we just go attach retreat, it's better. Okay. Boss. If you boss his ammo, it's fine. I'll just rot it back and then get it out. Oh, I think we're coming back to dragon is good. Yeah, actually. Always, everything always comes back to the dragon. The issue with the dragon in, like, against Pika is that uh, you need the belts. To actually do enough damage to the flying beat, but it's whatever. Uh, thoughts on putting Drapion V in here? You can if you're scared of Manaphy, but yeah, the, the Mew matchup's already good enough. And like, we're putting in second Bird Keeper, and that kind of helps that matchup as well. Dude, second Bird Keeper is actually so smart. Alright, I'm so smart. Maybe in practice it doesn't help as much as I, as I uh, would hope, but I feel like it, I hope it would at least. But yeah, the Mew matchup's already really good, basically. I played it in, in um, the last event, because I was scared of uh, some decks, but now I'm not so scared. Scared of uh, Mew with Manaphy, but now I am not scared of Mew with Manaphy. It seems uh, like a, not a real deck. It's not a real deck, to be honest. As long as it works without Rod, I understand that can be soft for switch card, but Polly and Clara is supporter. Uh, so the thing I saw with Lost Box that'll actually that'll help it survive. Boy, was he's more brave than smart with Drapion Sky still around. I wouldn't touch it with a ten foot pole. Eh, I don't know. Mew always works it out <laughs> somehow. But yeah, uh, the thing with post rotation is that um, you get. All the, 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 so the basics get weaker because everyone's playing like their Rolts and Curlies and stuff. And net rotates, so Sableye does more damage. Like, I mean, like its damage doesn't get healed, right? 
So save light is very strong post rotation. Um as a card. So it's definitely that. Uh to keep in mind. Okay, we gotta get a comfy, take the energies as well. And then need one comfy here really. So we can just go cram punch this here, it's probably fine. We're a turn slow, but um or or, or we can try and hit seal stone. If we hit seal stone, we're kinda good. Uh, we'll see what happens though. If we hit seal stone, we just go Raikou gate this. We could go Raikou gate this anyways, but it's a losing prize trade. But I guess if he goes Lugia, we just go Raikou it again, and then he's at two, and we can just... Wait, he's at one. And then he goes to one, and we can kill the minion. GG's. Game over. And we'll see what happens. Faith seal stone, we're chilling though. Okay, unless it's comfy. We only have two comfies, but that's hopefully okay. Okay, seal stone. Let's go. And... Seal stone. Oh, hit the Raikou. Okay, we could go cram here. Could also just go Raikou straight up. Um, hmm. And the price trade isn't bad for us, to be honest. It's not that bad. We can just go like Zam or whatever he shoves. If he shot, you know, he's going to kill me with Lugia. And then what? I mean, I hit Seal Stone the turn after, we're good. But that might be a difficult. I mean, he also has to find the V-Star, and maybe he doesn't have it in hand, and he can't money us. Or something. Uh, capture for sure. What are other options here? We can go... I mean, we don't have another option, right? We're just not attacking. So I think we just go for this. It's probably fine. Don't put the call in play for sure. Seal stone is in deck. Okay. Do I put the rod back actually? Because the issue is, if he attacks with Lugia, I literally have to kill him with Raikou on the next turn. Unless he ventures Dunsparce, in which I can attack him with Zama and then uh, say bye both. But I think we put back rod with Guru. That's fine. Oh, uh, we just first. This? No, this. Can also go for like a uh, Karaga play or something. I don't know, we can work it out. We have plays here. Oh, this is the wrong order. Whatever. I should have drawn a card first. This is an unviable trade without Seal Stone. So, just do that. Okay, so if we don't get marnie here, we're in a really good spot. If he ha Okay, he has a V-Star immediately, so I guess we're just hoping we don't get marnie But if we get marnie but he has to eventually Minion is the cost, then we're fine. Yeah. Sablezard and Tina do become really good. 10 foot pull with it either. Uh, what is it with creatures and printing broken Sableyes? I don't know. They just do their thing. I respect it though. Yeah, they can't just move. Okay, so hopefully bench done sparse here. That makes it the easiest for us to win. Second, ideally. But like the thing is, if we Raikou again, just don't have Marnie. If he doesn't have Marnie, we're fine. Because he can't Luminion for it, because then he benches double Luminion, and then we can uh, take advantage of that without even benching the Raikou ever. But if he has raw Marnie in hand, then we're cooked. Because his hand is nuts. The current hand we have is insane. Zod, that's fine. The Veltal bench, that's very fine. Okay, okay, okay. So now we just need to find Seal Stone and we win instantly. If we find Seal Stone, we immediately win. And end gate, of course. But we have double bird keeper, so we can work this out. Um I think that I want to guru to uh maximize card draw because we have a lot of good cards here. Energies are like insane. So I think I wanna do this. It digs us one less uh one less deep, yeah. Okay, there's a seal stone, so now I just need to find the gate. Yeah. So, is the bird keeper technically more efficient or less efficient than the chorus? I think the chorus is still better. Because the bird keeper block gives us a switch. Um, we only need to find gate. And we can use the other comfy later. 
So I think it is Colrus. And then it makes nets more efficient and stuff like that. Okay, Colrus. Gate. No gate yet. Okay, do I want boss more? Then I don't want the rope. The rope's kind of useless here. Okay. Take these. Well, I got here. It's now, it's basically just now or never, right? I have to hit it. Gate. Okay, that's nothing, dude. Ugh. Okay, wait, we can still work this out. Oh, we can't, dude. I should have taken the rope, man. That was actually such a mistake. I should have taken the rope, yeah. Well, we can still... Oh, we can't just pass it. We can't just do nothing here. Well, I can bench Sableye, attach to it, bait him to kill it, and then we go Bird Keeper into Sableye. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So we have to do this, and then later we're gonna have to hit boss Raikou Seal Stone. We just go save light energy, bait the bait the kill it, bait him to kill it, and then we we move. I guess the issue for us is gonna be that we need to block Stalin somehow because we're not winning fast enough. I don't know how on earth I'm gonna do that. He's not too powerful, but it's still enough to kill our Sableye. Whatever. We're just not doing anything here at all. If he bosses out Sableye... Fleet Foot of a Wand, do you really fleet here? I feel like we can win without it. That's so risky. <laughs> it's, it's literally 1 in... Oh, it would be like 2 and 9. It's 2 and 9, right? 2 and 9. Do we take the 2 and 9 here? Maybe we should have taken the 2 and 9. Because if he has Stalin, we lose. Or, I mean, he has to have it not prized or a powerful prized. We can deal with him getting rid of Lumini on here. That's fine. You do it all the time with Vika. Fair. The Fleet Footer for one. Pray that you survive. Because, like, the thing is, this save has to take a kill, so he's not even close to board locked. We're just gonna lose to Stoutland here, but I don't know, that's what we got. So but now what are we been netting? <sighs> Hopefully he is a powerful prize. I mean if he is a powerful prize, we should like uh, be really close to just winning, right? I just have to thin my whole deck out as much as possible. Should make sense. We'll see what he goes into. He could go into Zard here. If he goes into Zard, we win. Probably. Yeah, if he goes into Zard, we should be fine. If he goes to, like, Yveltal, we're not fine. Actually, if he goes to Yveltal, we're still fine. We can zam it. If he goes into Lugia, we have issues. Anything but Lugia, we're chill with. Right? If, if, if he goes into any of these three, okay. So now we just... Wait, we can kill it just kills with Cram, right? Yeah, so we just kill with Krem. Then he can't Stoutland easily. He needs to have boss as well, which might be too difficult for him. Yeah, just kill it. Yeah, we just do that. Okay, 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 okay. Workable. We can work with this. But the thing is, we have to boss next turn, so our supporters are irrelevant. So we want to use Bird Keeper because it keeps the... um. He's in our deck. And we also want to rod first. And it, putting back energies is actually good. No, we don't. We want to comfy first and then rod and then keeper. That's the order. And then rod, then quick pull, then keeper. I mean, like, it, it makes a lot of objective sense, right? Okay, we can discard the Sableye as well. But I do want to bring back the... Okay, okay, okay. Cycler energy. Waste energy, right? We don't need the Cycler. And like, we could go for uh, a Kyogre strategy here. But the Kyogre strategy falls short a lot of the time. Yeah, the, the Kyogre strategy does fall short here. Oh, we take the energy. I already decided. Grand the energy. Oh, I should have brought it first. Whatever. I should have... Actually, that was way better. Holy, that was actually so much better. Whatever. 
Oh, I need to, I need to discard more cards here, to be honest. Yeah, we do both. We need both of these cards. Both these guys. I'm gonna put back a uh, double light, uh, lighting. It's like, no, nah, water, I guess. Yep. Let's move back Cram, we'll Bird Keeper into it. Pass can go. Well, the thing about it is our deck is like so stacked here, but I want to put back boss, I think. I mean, we need to draw boss and seal stone. This might become actually a mess. Uh, whatever. Fuck boss. You also have Rotom. So we drew the net. It's not the worst, not the best. Okay, spit. So we need to... If he plays Dunsparce, we lose, right? <clears throat> he plays Sparse Manaphy. Trying out multiple bird keeper? Yeah, I, uh... I think... Can we ogre two birds? Yeah, wait, I'm an idiot. Yeah, you just ogre both the birds here. Eh, I kind of wanted to do the, the seal stone play because cool love yeah. it. Yeah, I probably was supposed to ogre two birds. Supposed to keep the recycler ogre both birds. It's okay though, if he's attacking with Lugia, we're in a very fine spot. Dude, I should have I should have put back the seal stone instead of the, the boss, because if he does this, then we have the seal stone on top instead of the boss. Nice! Okay, okay, okay. Nice, we're getting a seal stone dub. That's pretty cool, right? Probably could have done a done a little bit more to be a bit safer here, but uh dub's a dub. This game would have been uh, way harder without the seal stone. So yeah, pretty pretty good game here. Go seal stone, retreat. We got the bench Pokemon, and we'll just uh, we'll just kill him. Good job. Yeah, seal stone still sounds good. <laughs> we got a lot of value. The Zama would have been good there if he had the Stalin, but yeah, difficult for him to uh, get the Stalin there. Um, he needed to find boss at the end there, so yeah.